Oh my lord. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ari. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the Earth's surface. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
<laughs> okay. Do you have any last words? I asked the guy how many crashes they'd had and he was like, recently? <laughs> no, I think he said they like had four or five or so. But he said that was when they had one pilot, but he said now they've got two pilots. Oh yeah, one pilot had a heart attack, yeah. Oh my lord. Shouldn't but, ask, hey? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's cozy. Gracias, bien. Uh. Ali is trying to get a shot. I'm so glad I didn't throw up. I was feeling pretty sick towards the end. Wow. All oh, the guys throwing up over there. Do you feel still sick or not at all? Uh, no, 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 you're over it? Yeah, I over it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which Nazca line is your favorite? Uh, monkey. The monkey. 1954, the Pan American Road was built. Okay. Right? They didn't know anything about the lines. No. And in 1974, 76, the flight over the Nazca lines started. No way. And when they flew over, they, they realized that they cut the, uh, they cut the, lizard, the lizard in half. No way. Thank you so much, Javier. No, thank to you guys. Thank it you. was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Really silly here because I bought some cheese and we were really excited for some cheese sandwiches right now. But look at the cheese. It's like completely melted. So I won't open it right now. And we will just have some bread with some margarine. <laughs> Ciao. Thank you, Ciao. All I can say is wow, wow, wow. What a crazy experience, hey? Yeah, absolutely. Really cool. Yeah, here's the uh, runway right here. So it's a very, very small airport with some very, very small planes. <laughs> wow, but that was crazy. That's definitely an awesome way to see the Nazca lines from above. It was a little bit over budget for us. In the end, it cost us 60 US dollars per person uh, to take the flight. But then you had to pay as well, like an airport tax. And also you had to pay a sort of ticket to the Minister of Culture to see the lines. So in total, it was about 80 US dollars or about 65 pounds per person. Yeah, a little bit over budget, but of course, it's like nice at the end that we have done it and that we could admire these figures from the air i mean how incredible is that yeah it's just so incredible these pictures have been there for like 2000 years 2000 years plus and it's interesting the way that they make these geoglyphs was simply that they just removed the top layer of soil which was a sort of darker color to reveal a lighter colored undersoil and that's literally all they did they just literally just moved the rocks out the way to create these patterns incredible but they just did that on like a massive scale and it's just crazy that even 2000 years later they are still there and you can still see them you can see them from the sky and it's like there is a monkey there's a cat there's a dog there's a hummingbird it's just crazy that after all this time we can still recognize those animals 
even though we have no idea why they made them we don't know much about the Nazca culture in general but um, we can see that's a monkey 2,000 years later incredible <laughs> So I didn't get to say a whole lot about the Nazca lines when we were up in the plane because it was incredibly loud and I was going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to concentrate not throwing up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I have a few facts, if I can remember them, about the Nazca lines. There are actually hundreds of Nazca lines and over 70 of them are zoomorphic, so based on animals. And in total, they added up all of the lines and they're more than 1,000 300 kilometers of lines in this region and they are anywhere between two and a half thousand and two thousand years old the lines were actually mentioned uh, in literature by the Spanish in the 1500s but at the time they just uh, called them trail markers trails uh, it wasn't until people started actually flying that they could fully appreciate and see the the scale of of this area and it was in 1927 when a military pilot uh, noted that he could see uh, figures when he flew over. Yeah, incredible. And they said as well that today they actually discovered more and more with drones. And our co-pilot Javier told us that when they built the Pan American Road, the road we're actually about to take out into the desert, when they built this road, they didn't even realize that they built the road directly through one of the geoglyphs, which was the lizard. So they actually cut the lizard in half with the Pan American Highway. That's so funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and over the years, there have been some incidents. Uh, Javier told us about one guy, I think it was like five years ago, a drunk guy with a truck basically managed to find his way out into the desert and apparently damaged three of the geoglyphs in one big joyride through the desert. Bet they find him a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I bet so. So now we are heading out of Nazca. Our time here is done and we're going to be basically following the Pan American Highway north now and uh, we'll see how far we can get today. Yes, all the way to Ecuador. I can see a glyph from here. Yes! I don't think the GoPro will pick it up, but there is definitely something on that hill over there. What is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a whale. It's the whale. Yeah, it's a whale, I think. No? Or is it the cat? It's the cat. It is, is it? the cat. It's yes. The cat. Incredible. Nice. Crazy that like 2,000 years ago, they were like, let's draw a giant picture of a cat. It's amazing that currently we are actually riding right through where we were, but from here, I can hardly see anything. No. Maybe just a couple of lines here and there. So we are coming up to the observation towers here, which means we're also going to intersect the lizard. But let's see what the lizard looks like from the ground. Can we see it at all? On one side is the tail, and on one side is the rest of the body. Can't see anything. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw it as well. And on the other side, I saw some lines as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, from the ground, it looks like absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's only from above that you can really see. Man, that's a lizard right there. Incredible. Incredible. What a place. Yeah, very special place. But by the way, it's 35 degrees at the moment. I'm boiling hot. Coming like straight from the mountains, where we had like nice 11 degrees, I'm like, oof. I'm a fried body at the moment. Yeah, this morning we were like, should we wear our coats or should we wear our new like under armor, which where we can be a bit more breathable. And we were like, no, no, we'll try the coats for one more day. It can't be that warm. And it's literally like, okay, it just reached 36 degrees. So from tomorrow, we're going to be going to our under armor and motocross tops. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm so affected by the heat and I can feel my head already. I thought always that I'm a beach girl, but I think I'm a mountain girl, actually. You're a mountain goat. <laughs> no, I'm an alpaca. We just saw that there's some geoglyphs on the hill over here. And um, there's no one here, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go here for free. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, it's just nice to be in the shade for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm boiling. Lavi's just... <laughs> Staying behind in the shade, I'm going to come and have a look at these geoglyphs so we can just about see them across the hill here. Wow, maybe an owl, 
guinea pig. I'm just making them up. <laughs> on the other side as well, in the very distance, there's a couple of people on the hill over there. And we can see lines across a lot of these hills as well. What a landscape. Ah, here we go. It's got them, got them here. Yes, indeed, an owl, some sort of thing, another thing, some people. Incredible. How are you doing? I'm hot. Hot. I'm so incredibly hot. <sighs> yeah, we're going to change from the coats now to our armor because it's just unbearable otherwise. <sighs> Time to drink some water as well. Moments later. Whoa, looking absolutely awesome in your fox top. Look at that. Breezy? Better. Better, hey? Better. All right, let's hit the desert. Wow, there's even more geoglyphs on that hill just over there and on this hill over there. Yes, yeah, absolutely incredible. Like it seems like that every hill here has actually like a figure on it. There's so many around, really, really crazy. So this area is called Palpa and um, apparently this is a civilization that even preceded the Nazca by a thousand years. Wow. So they estimate that these geoglyphs on the rocks around here were made 3,000 years ago. So the Nazca people actually copied these guys? Basically, yes. Yes. So there's one just over there. Yes. There's one figure over there. Yeah. Beautiful and boiling. in the town of Ica and uh, this is where we'll be stopping for the night but actually we won't be stopping in the town of Ica because right next to the town is an absolutely magical place and it's called Huacachina Ica we'll be there in a minute <laughs> once we get through the traffic Wow look all the people walking up there so what? can you believe that this is just outside of the town of Ica, the craziest sand dunes ever, and there's like oasis in the middle. So I think we've arrived, right? Yeah, it looks like it. This is it, this is Huacachina. Yeah, welcome. Apparently there's a lagoon in the middle as well. So I think that's where we're headed, hey? Yes. Oh, I bet so many people are getting stuck here. <laughs> Yeah, we just have to see how sandy the place is. Yeah, if we can get there actually, you know. Yeah, or as well, if there's any parking. <laughs> when I saw online that this was like a an oasis in the middle of the dunes, I didn't really expect this, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, this is super busy here. Wow, it's really busy actually. Wow, what a cr 
crazy place yeah wow and some people walking all the way up there wow yeah there's a fella hiking all the way to the top wow good on him okay so the road has turned into sand so i'm gonna go on my own all right now we're talking okay it looks like it's not that far ahead you see it's just so busy here i can't believe it yeah wow it's not even the busy season no desert nights hospitality and restaurant there it is oh my god yeah i'm not sure there is parking to be honest um <sighs> i'm gonna oh god that was it's okay close. yeah oh my god oh it's quite a sunny place yeah okay okay anyway so. let's stop here and see how we get on okay eventually Yes, welcome to the oasis of Huacachina! Look around! So it's basically a lake with palm trees surrounded by giant dunes. It's truly paradise here. But there's not just sand dunes here, it's literally sand dunes the entire way around. I really, really can't believe this place. It's like out of this world. It was super busy to come in and really, really annoying. But once you're in and you settle down a little bit, it's just paradise here. It's wow. And our place that we're staying is just here, which is called Desert Nights Hospitaje. And luckily, oh, luckily they have parking for bumblebee and they have a swimming pool as well time to check out the swimming pool in a minute we paid 15 pounds for us both in a dormitory room so at the moment we are just on our own but maybe some people are joining us later so i'm really glad we got here before sunset so we can basically just chill here watch the sunset over the dunes maybe go for a swim we're in paradise now yeah, it was a pretty cool day today. Like being in the air, seeing the Nazca lines and then riding through the desert is just amazing. So I'm super, super impressed. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. So welcome to the other area that our accommodation has. A pool next to the dunes. What? I'm speechless. Yeah. 